So there's three, I'd say three big ones that we uh, mostly treat at our cancer center. Uh, endometrial, ovarian, and cervical cancer. So endometrial is the first. Um, that the endometrium is um, the lining of the uterus or the womb, and it is the most common cancer that we see in our clinic. This affects about 60, over 60,000 women in the U.S. every year, and the incidence rates are actually rising. Um, we usually diagnose it um, after menopause, so when a woman's, say, in her 60s, and typically they'll go for evaluation when they have abnormal vaginal bleeding. Uh, another instance would be if a woman is still having periods, they would have irregular bleeding. Um, symptoms, like I said, are usually the bleeding. Um, it's usually painless. Um, and then, like I said, the incidence is increasing. Um, risk factors include being overweight, um, uh, having a high fat diet, um, and then in some cases it can be inherited. So if there's a family history of a certain group of cancers, that can allude to something running in the family. The second is uh, ovary cancer. So this occurs in a little over 20,000 women every year. Again, it's typically diagnosed um, after menopause in the early 60s. Um, there's no screening for, test for this, and there isn't one either for endometrial cancer. Um, and the symptoms related to it can be quite vague, so it can be difficult to diagnose, particularly in an early stage. Women will sometimes come in for evaluation when they've had a pelvic pain, abdominal discomfort, sometimes irregular bleeding, or change in their bowel or bladder habits. So we do suggest that they go for evaluation if these symptoms seem to be persistent, particularly over a two to three week period. Um, the third cancer is uh, cervical cancer. So this is less common, thankfully, in the U.S. About 13,000 women get this every year. And one of the reasons it's less common is because we do actually have a screening test for this, which is the pap smear. Um, typically, this is diagnosed at a younger age, between the mid-30s to 40s, and then we see another small peak in the 60s. Um, again, people can come in with complaints of irregular bleeding, uh, pelvic pain, or a provider may actually diagnose this when a woman goes in for a regular checkup.